There are a total of 47 keys on the shoreline map, but don't worry, in this guide I'll only show you which keys you really need. The 16 keys I believe guarantee you the most loot consistently. As always, there is some variance in this guide, as in an ideal situation, there's probably 20 keys you'll be able to get some value from. However, this video is based on the assumption that you're using a docks case rather than a sick case, so I've picked the 16 keys that I think are the better bet. I'm Gaz, welcome to the channel. If you enjoy this video or find it helpful, a like would be greatly appreciated. Subscribe if you're new, I upload Escape from Tarkov videos three times a week. Lastly, I'd like to know which key you find to be the most consistent in Shoreline, and which items you find most regularly. Leave me a comment below, I look forward to reading them. Of course, the keys that are going to feature in this guide are going to be solely focused on the health resort. There are a couple of keys outside the resort, like the cottage key, but the main value you'll find is going to be getting in amongst the action in the hot zone. A final point, the loot that spawns in each of these rooms is subject to change, as we have seen in the past, but for the most part these keys are going to be mainstays in your docks case, and those that will give you the most consistency. Alright, enough mumbling, on to the keys. We'll start on the east wing with Sanitar's tape key room. This room is marked with a blood stain on the side of the door. In here you'll find a PC, duffel bag, loose loot including lead X's, meds, stims and rare loot. This is a really good key, it's pretty cheap and you find it quite a lot on Sanitar himself. Moving on, we've got 107 on the first floor of East Wing. This is a great med room with a med bag, med case, duffel bag, lead X spawn, graphics card and loose loot including meds, money and electronics. Another really, really good key that's not too expensive. You should definitely hit this key every time. Moving up to the second floor, we'll start with East 222, which also has access to 226 via the balcony. You can buy either of these keys. 222 has a weapon box, weapon rack, grenade box, toolbox, rare item spawns and weapon spawns. Then moving over to 226, which has weapon boxes, gun locker, lead X spawns, weapon spawns and loose loot including money and food. Down the hall towards the bridge, we're now looking at East 206. This room is also connected to 205. In 206, you'll find a med case, duffel bag, loose loot, weapon cabinet, and then 206 has three weapon boxes, rare loot, loose meds, and two weapon spawns. Upstairs, and we've got three rooms quite close together. East 308 is the first key we're looking at here, with access to 306 via the balcony once again. In here you'll find a weapon rack, weapon spawn, med case, loose loot including money and food. And then 306 has a weapon spawn, four PCs, a weapon box, rare spawns, a backpack spawn, and loose loot, again including money and food. This is a really good one, especially for the PC room in 306, uh, as their PC items are worth a lot right now. A short walk down the hall, and we're in East 310. This one is considered a really great money room. It has two duffel bags and a rare loose loot spawn, including bitcoins, gold chains, etc. Um, people have been known to find two or three bitcoins just sitting on the table in here. It's a really great room. And the final East Wing key I'm going to recommend is 313, which also gives you access to 314. In here, you'll find a weapon box, med bag, lead X spawn, and loose loot, including meds, mods, and money. 314 also has a weapon box, weapon spawn, and loose loot, including meds, more weapon mods, and money. We're moving across to the west wing now, once again starting from the bottom floor and moving up. But first, if you're enjoying this video, let me know by leaving a like. Subscribe if you're looking for Escape from Tarkov guides, opinions, and gameplay breakdowns. 
Thanks for your support. To begin with, on the ground floor, we have 112. In here, you'll find a blue keycard spawn, as well as loose food and drink, and two duffel bags. Next up, we're in West 104, which also has a blue keycard spawn, as well as a lead egg spawn, loose currency, and meds. The ground floor on the west wing is some of the easiest and the best ways to get some really high tier loot, so you definitely want to be checking out this floor. Moving upstairs and we've got three main keys on the second floor. West 222 is a big one here. It joins to 218 and 221. 222 has a weapon spawn, med bag and loose currency. 218 has a red keycard spawn, two weapon cabinets, a weapon spawn, and loose loot including money, food, and ammo. 221 also has a weapon box, loose currency, and a weapon spawn. Just up the hall we've got West 219 which has a weapon cabinet, weapon box, loose loot including money, ammo and meds and an armoured vest spawn. Then again near the bridge we've got 203 connected to 205. Lots of spawns in here including med bags, weapon boxes, duffel bags, toolboxes, loose currency and loot. In 205 you'll find a med bag, toolbox and loose loot. Finally we move up to the third floor of the west wing. West 306 is next here, loose loot, two dead scavs and a weapon spawn in this one. West 301 is the penultimate key in this guide and is connected to 304. In here you'll find loose loot including graphics cards and lead X's. Then in 304 you'll find weapon boxes, PCs, loose loot including graphics cards and lead X spawns and weapons. And finally, I've thrown 321 safe key in, which is also on this floor. In here, you'll find usual safe stuff, which is rubles and valuables, including bitcoins, GP coins, rollers, gold chains. So let me know what you think to each of these keys, and let me know in the comments below which ones you'd change. I'm already looking at this list thinking there are some that I'm not happy with and definitely could be changed. If you enjoyed this video, let me know by liking or disliking. Either helps me greatly. Subscribe if you're new around here. I make Escape from Tarkov videos three times a week. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.